on patrol in northeast Poland. British troops have been out on the Bemovo Piski training area for 60 hours on constant alert. There's a reason. This is a patrols competition, pitting 10 multinational teams from the battle group against each other. But it's rehearsing skills for that worst case scenario, how Poland could defend itself. Operation Cabrit is the British contribution to NATO's Enhanced Forward Presence, or EFP, a mission established in Eastern Europe in the wake of Russia's annexation of Crimea. Poland, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia are part of this new front line to stop any further Russian aggression or incursion. The British mission is to deter, but also reassure. By the virtue of the fact that we're here, um, which is no mean feat with four different national flags under, under the US banner at the moment, um, and alongside our other EFB battle groups, um, it's, it, that then itself is a statement, and um, a, a good NATO statement. We conduct regular training with um, uh, building up the credibility of the NATO forces here, uh, where there are plenty of opportunities for interoperability and, and development, which, uh, which means that we're, we're always ready. 150 British soldiers are part of Battle Group Poland from the Light Dragoons and their attachments. They work alongside Polish forces, Croatians, Romanians and the US who lead the 1100 strong Battle Group. I've learned a lot about the uh, NATO deployabilities, how other NATO nations work, uh, their, even their rank structure. So I know the Romanian rank structure, the American rank structure and uh, we've picked up a lot. On camera, off camera, they're the greatest guys I've ever met. Like, I, I like them more than a couple of my own buddies. Like, they, they're good guys. I love lads. The, yeah. Have you picked up any uh, British sayings or...? Uh, the only thing I like to mimic uh, is better. You guys say better, so I, I'd say that whenever I can. The soldiers rehearse for any situation that could happen here. What's up, mate? What's up, There's been an explosion. Uh, it looks like an SV's been crashed. Got there, two casualties in the car, one, one casualty outside. One person jumped straight onto the one that was outside, one jumped onto the one that was in the passenger, one jumped onto the one that was in the driver's. Uh, the driver was unconscious uh, straight away with a head injury. The one outside just had a minor burn to the arm and one had a catastrophic bleed to the left leg. Laura down, Laura down. This is just a small example of life for the light dragoons in Poland. Months of constant training has presented the perfect opportunity to continue the skills and further develop leadership. And with being a sort of a more a deterrence of a tour, there's more chance of training exercises, there's more chance for people to learn and develop in their new roles. Drag the casualty, let's go! Part of the deterrence mission here is being alert and ready. This is only the second six-month deployment of Opka Brit in Poland, the first full winter for British troops. Now the patrol are now moving on to another section of the competition but just to give you an idea of the type of extremes of weather that they've experienced during their time on Poland. This, where I'm stood right now, is actually a lake in summer. Underneath me here is quite a few inches of ice. Now I'm told it is safe for us to walk on but during the winter they've had temperatures here down to minus 20. The soldiers have been trained by Royal Marine mountain leaders. Survival skills in these conditions are the difference between life and death. If they're out on exercise and they don't look after themselves, there could be people going down with hypothermia and sort of, you know, becoming really unwell um, and compromising their future career in the military as well. So to be able to look after themselves and look after each other as well as it, you know, prevents that kind of harm. It's not just on foot that the reconnaissance troops have battled the Polish winter. British Jackal and Coyote vehicles and American strikers also have to tackle the terrain. You won't know that there's ice or like a swamp uh, that you're about to drive through. And it happened to us just the other day. We were driving down a road to come to here, actually. And um, all of a sudden, boom, my striker's in a hole and it's tilted at a 45 degree angle. Well, well, back home, it's just you don't get any conditions like this. And here, it's just got to like minus 20, so the grounds are frozen solid, so you need to be more careful in everything you do. 
do like a lot more gaps when you're like driving out in the area. Just just watch out a lot more, really. The Movo Piski camp, once a transit camp for Polish troops, now home to an 1,100 strong multinational battle group. It's had to expand considerably, facilities springing up and buildings being renovated to accommodate the British, American, Croatian and Romanian forces based here. And for this camp, it's all about the location. It's close to the Sawalki Gap, a piece of land that could potentially link Kaliningrad to Belarus and separate Poland from the Russian bordering countries of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. Last year, when the first US battle group deployed here, their message was clear. You never start a fight, but you always finish it. We'll always be prepared to do that, and uh, that's not our desire. You know, God forbid there is uh, aggression against our alliance, uh, and if it happens, uh, we're, we're trained, we're supplied and resourced properly, uh, and we're, we're fully ready to do what we need to do. The current deployment of US forces are known as the Wolf Pack, the third squadron of the 2nd Cavalry Regiment. They lead Battle Group Poland, assisting the Polish 15th Mechanized Brigade. Their objective for Operation Atlantic Resolve is to deter and defend. We keep that balance because the threat is very real. We are on an alert status, so uh, we are prepared to respond. So that, and we, we test those systems and training regularly, so that keeps it very fresh and real for them because uh, they can see that there's a level of seriousness about this mission that it wouldn't be the case if we were back in Germany just doing regular training. The British input in Poland and Estonia is called Operation Cabrit. Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson and Prime Minister Theresa May signed a treaty with the Polish Prime Minister just last December, reaffirming defence cooperation. We can uh, learn from them uh, a lot of uh, good things. I think that uh, UK soldiers uh, served uh, in a lot of places in the world. And that's why they are much, much more ex uh, experienced than, than we. It's, we can learn it from them. Troops in Bomovo Piski spend their days preparing for what could happen in the hope that it never does. The light dragoons kept busy with a fleet of vehicles to maintain. It depends what happens on the exercises or the deployments, especially with weather as well. So you might have uh, different impacts on that. So yeah, the lads have been quite busy. There's been certain vehicles that have taken impact because of the weather and weapons as well. So yeah, it's, it's non-stop out here. Fitness is also a key part of life here, both in the camp's gym and out on the training area, led by keen physical training instructors. There are also other ways to keep that work-life balance. In the downtime, it's obviously trying to find uh, stuff to keep the guys busy. Going away for weekends to uh, local uh, towns and cities, trying to experience some of the local culture. Uh, also just going out for sort of meals at the weekends or in the evenings. This is a deployment. The troops are on notice to move. But it's not like the operations of Afghanistan or Iraq. As we deployed here, yeah, the whole peace of mind thing was a bit better. We knew there was no immediate threat, you know. Uh, so for us, peace of mind, not only for us, but for those back at home as well, it was a lot easier to deploy rather than saying goodbye, thinking, you know, something could happen or the worst could happen. Not all families have been separated by this six-month tour. The Ryan siblings found out they were both deploying to Poland just before they arrived something that's been a comfort to their family. When obviously it's like tougher times in the tour, like they're glad that we've got someone else out here, like you said, like a familiar face that is easy to go to if you're not necessarily wanting to go to like the people in your room or like something like that. Um, I know how I am with my brother. Is there any kind of like sibling rivalry? Have you done like any competitions where you've had to be like against each other or anything like that? Um, I don't think so, no. like, really. Yeah. I but I like it when she does well because I get a lot of stick. I get a lot of stick from the lads being like, oh, your sister's beat you and all that sort of stuff, but it doesn't really bother me. I'd rather she, she's doing well. The UK's Operation Cabrit is currently due to last until 2020. The American forces have an open-ended finish date.
For the security of Eastern Europe, the battle group's presence is welcomed here to reassure and deter.